now, but back then, this is a common. That's how kids I, talked. Yeah. I know he got criticized because it, they they use this word a lot, and I thought it was like I, what, when I tell people about this movie, I always tell them like you got to have an open mind because it's a, again this is the nineties. This is the Jerry Spr- what they used to call it, the Jerry Springer era, mm-hmm. and that use was overly used everywhere, mm-hmm. you know, and so. It was just more. Com- it was yeah, it's a co- it was a common, common word, word back then. Yeah. Now it's not so common. It's 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 like saying that the N word to 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 a black person. You know, it's mm-hmm. the same thing, man. Like you know, you, we can't say that to each other anymore. We can't do that anymore. Like it's 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 super wrong and super it's not social yeah. acceptable anymore. Um, and I, I really the, the 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 scene where they he where Stevie does get the skateboard. And he's like, oh, like I, I want to say thank you, but I don't want you guys to think I'm gay or something. And that's him and realizing, like, yeah. He's like, whoa, that's what? common courtesy, bro. He's like, you can <laughs> say thank you. That's just you. education. Yeah, he's like, you're so, you're yeah. so weird. He's like, and he's like, oh, thank you. Or the, like, thank um, you so much. Oh, when they're talking cool. about, like, uh, like uh, fourth grade, I think, says, oh, do, um, do black people get sunburned? <laughs> and then he... He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, do black people get sunburned? Like, oh, does he have, like, black skin, uh, um, sunblock, sun, 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 yeah. I, I could, I could be wrong, but I believe that, uh, fourth grade is, um, in real life was Spike Jones, the, um, the director who did, he worked with the BC Boys, he oh, really? did, uh, Where the Wild Things Are. A bunch of stuff. Uh, her, mm. but I think that that's who he was writing, uh, writing for. I wouldn't be surprised with that, with that character, mm. and that's why he's always like, "I want to be a filmmaker. I want to be a yeah. filmmaker." And they're like, "Man, you're too dumb to be a fi- filmmaker, or whatever." <clears throat> and then Stevie's like, "Oh, what are bu- they like? What do you think? What do you think, oh man? Like, oh, what are black people?" <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. Black people? And that's- like saying that he doesn't see color. Yeah, yeah right. He's like, what, what? And they were like, I fuck with that. Or, yeah. <laughs> I feel like they didn't really get it, but Ray, they all look up to Ray as like. Ray's like the un. un the father figure yeah. type, and like he decides what's cool or not. Mm-hmm. But it's. I don't think it's about what's cool or not. I feel like it's like what's morally right mm-hmm. or not. And mm-hmm. then they just find it like, oh, that's cool or not. But I feel like. For Ray being friends with them, they don't really get him. They don't yeah. really get Ray. And that's like how you're saying that his character is already established, but we don't find out until later. And and that's I think that's a big. He's a, to me he's probably one of the main characters, yeah. almost just under Stevie. But uh, like when when him and Stevie have that that screen time together when yeah. they, you know they fall asleep at the park and, and they're skating together down just them two down the down the road I thought that was a really really cool scene with them just kind of you know that's uh, Ray, and, yeah. Yeah, Ray right. and Stevie dynamic those that first scene where he you know he opens up to Stevie about his little his brother, brother yeah. like from then on like that's like so powerful and, the, and when he's talking about I think it was in the trailer that we that in the beginning of the show when he talks about like you look at your life and you think other people have it better and if you saw what's behind you know yeah like yeah, you would, and like in people's you, clothes, you wouldn't, you wouldn't you trade their shit for yeah. yours yeah it's like and it's true and I think he he's already so mature more mature than they are and it's because and he's uh, he he opens up to Stevie and he's and he he tells him that he he lost his little brother. Yeah. And I feel like when you go through something like a trauma like that, you're forced to to grow up and you see the world differently. Oh, yeah. And I feel like that's the reason why he's attached to Stevie because he sees his little brother. Yeah. You know he really I mean? looks out for Stevie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After that, yeah. And then <laughs> okay. I, I know I was gonna say, I, and you can tell the difference between someone who how Ray is. He loves skating. But he's also doing it for a purpose. Yeah, like he wants to be a pro. Fuck shit. Who's like, oh, I just want to skate because it's cool. Like I like doing it. But I want to party. I want to get. Yeah. I want to party. Get drunk. And, and, and also, fuck shit is a fucking privileged kid. Yeah. yeah. His parents have money. Cause yeah. He, and he, if you like pay attention, they're at the beginning. They're watching the video of the skate the skaters, and I think they're in like. They're in France, France. Yeah. yeah, and he under, says, under the "Oh, I, Tower. I've been there like those twice." Yeah, 
with my, I'm guessing with his family. He's yeah. like, it's lame. Yeah, those. He's like, yeah, but bro, you're with your mom and dad. Yeah. So it's so like you understand. If that. you don't pick up on that, it's like then you don't get why fuck shit just throws everything even, away. Even he says in the scene, he throws when, his talent away mm-hmm. pretty much. Even in the scene, he says it like he's like, man, you don't. I think uh, Ray's like, man, you don't even live in the ghetto. And he's yeah. like, yeah, he's like, I'm not, he's, I think, uh, fourth grade was like, I might go work at, uh, with the my DMV. dad at the DMV. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, motherfucker, I got options. Like, he said it like that. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, you could tell, like, you could tell the dynamic from being, from having everything kind of handed to you to somebody that's actually working towards yeah. something. Yeah. Like, you could tell the dynamic right away. Like, that's like, <clears throat> that, I thought that was a really good contrast of what, um, what, what because we me and you had the same stuff where a lot of our a lot of our friends were privileged a lot of our friends had this had that and we are kind of like we're like kind of like in the meat and yeah side of the thing and you know we kind of grew up to to appreciate a lot of stuff that they maybe hadn't appreciated yeah so where they had fucking cars and yeah. when driving to high school <laughs> yeah. and you know what I mean which fuck shit does he has yeah. a car and then he fucks up and he, he fucks up in school <laughs> he and he and, and they yeah. take his they take his driving privileges away yeah. and that's it I think a really big scene in uh, in this movie was you know, I you talked about how Stevie kind of held his his brother on a pedestal and I think oh. basically throughout the whole movie he pretty much does except for at the point where um uh, what's his brother's name? Ian. Ian. Ian yeah. runs into fuck shit. He, fuck shit's doing like a kickflip or something and hits Ian. And, and he's like, "Oh my, my, fuck, bro? my bad, my bad, bro." He's like, "What's up, homie? What?" And then he's like, "Oh no!" Like you can tell he's like, "Oh shit!" Like he stands there for quite a while thinking, "Should I do something?" And then he sees he does. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, if I lose, I'm gonna look like a bitch to my yeah. little brother." So, but him just not doing anything he already he's already is disapp- you can tell Stevie's yeah. so disappointed Stevie already, he's already lost that yeah. that, that, that he's, he's taken off that pedestal he's not now. scared of him anymore and no, then you yeah. see that when they're playing the, the Playstation and he's like oh you think you're cool with your ghetto ass friends he's like I would have done something but I was running solo yeah and he's like you're a pussy or some shit like that he's like you're lame or some shit whatever and, he said but uh, later on yeah they he, what does he say he tells them like uh you don't you're a fucking loser you don't have any friends mm-hmm. you're fucking sad all of the time it's like he sees through him yeah you know what i mean like he's, he, he sees what he is what like he actually he, is he, there's that facade of yeah of there there is a facade when you're a younger brother and you 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 have this idolized older brother mm-hmm. where you think they're so great but then sometimes there's things that do change that there's that kind of you know, the uh, veil filter, is, yeah, the, the veil. I'm yeah. trying to think of the veil is lifted, and that mm-hmm. that that facade is gone, and it's it's you realize that it is fake, or yeah, it's just like, just like those two performances, it's yeah. so multifaceted. There, yeah. there's so much layers to pull back because then Ian's getting jealous because you know his little bro- loser brother is like fucking cool now, yeah, and he's a nobody, yeah, and you can see the. Uh, Going back towards the beginning of the film, they still he make Ian makes Stevie steal forty dollars yeah. from his mom, and he says, uh, or no, eighty dollars. Sorry, he's he's like, oh, you forty for me and forty yeah, for you. Yeah, you said you need forty dollars, right? You need a new board. Well, you take forty dollars and you give me forty dollars, mm-hmm. and then later on, the the mom realizes that the money's gone, and she of course thinks Ian took it all. Yeah. And Ian tries to to snake him out, and he says, "No, Stevie was there. He actually took it." And then you know, Stevie's like, "No, I didn't do that." And then yeah. and then later on, uh, Ian sneaks into in Stevie's night, room yeah, and 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 beats him hard. Like you can hear it. Yeah, you hear the thuds. It's it's pretty disturbing. Some of this movie is very uh, uh, body horror. Mm-hmm. It turns you know into body horror in the way that. Um, you're seeing that some kids they deal with form form real forms of depression. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Where Stevie's like literally hurting himself. Stevie self harms. Yeah. yeah. Like in this because yeah. he doesn't know how to take out his aggression. Yeah. And because his brother <laughs> beats him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Relentless, like so much. He his brother takes out his frustrations on Stevie. Yeah. 
It's really sad. And you see that when he has the brush and he's just scraping his leg and then... Yeah. Or when he, like, he, he punishes himself. Ch- with the con- yeah. He tries to choke he's himself out. Himself. Yeah. yeah, with yeah. a Nintendo cord, yeah. uh, controller. That, that was a really sad scene. It's, was, like, it's rough. Tough, yeah. to, tough to see, man. That was a tough scene in general. And that's what I feel like uh, it goes back to him having an outlet and mm-hmm. skateboarding is his outlet. He tries so hard to get that first board, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And he, and, has, he does the ollie. Yeah. He's and he's like, like yes, yes, yeah, I did it. You know, that's yeah. so real. Even down to the, when they're hanging out in the skate shops, mm-hmm. like, that's how a skate shop looks. Yeah. In that time, you know what I mean? And then fucking, fuck shit is just, the, he works, he's the one working there, I think. Yeah. He's the one that's always behind like, the you counter. you motherfuckers are bad for, for business. business. <laughs> He's like, I, he's, like, he's like, I drug one of my parents first. He's like, bro. And I was like, bro. He's like, I'm never coming here again. And he's like, you're fucking up my business. <laughs> what did he say? He's like, wait, so you you would rape your parents, your parents first? first? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, I get one of them blacked out drunk. He's like, I'm not gonna tell you which one, but I, I would I would roofie one of them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh man. Or the um. Uh, just the, the the meaning behind the, the his nickname fuck shit, mm-hmm. and they're like, so why you call him fuck shit? And he's like, because every time he lands a dope trick, he's just like, fuck shit, and that was dope. Or and he does like a fifty fifty or something. He's like, fuck shit, <laughs> that was dope. Yeah, it's funny. Um, one scene I really liked was when um, Ray is jumping the gap at the school oh. between the roofs. Yeah, uh, he does it. Fuck shit does it. And um, Ruben is about to do it, but he, he bails. And then they're kind of clowning on Ruben, like, oh, come on, pussy, like, do it. And then... No, he, Ruben clowns on Stevie. And he's, okay. he's cause like, Shut Ste- the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, because yeah, um, Stevie's like, don't worry, Ruben. Yeah, like, like, you you, you got, got it. it. Ne- like, this next... next yeah. Yeah. So innocent. This, yeah, like, that's, like, he's like, that's what I mean. He's like, he's so innocent. Like, he doesn't understand. He's like, shut the fuck up, faggot. And then he's just like, all right. So he, he, he's going too like, slow. He's like, you're going too slow. Yeah. And he... He goes it. for it. Um, it doesn't even come close. Almost like to protect Ruben yeah. from failing again. So he takes that heat. Because they say it over and over again. He's this like, guy takes the hardest hits I've ever seen. Yeah. And then at the, towards the end, he t- um, Ray tells him, you know you don't got to do that, right? That's, I love that. That line is, is so perfect. It's like, it's, they, you, you don't know, have to prove yourself. You've already, you're already one of us. Yeah. So. I think that's really cool. I'm going to cry. I just like, love the whole... There's so much emotion. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's so like, raw. Between children. And, yeah. Like, yeah. And they are kids. And one thing about this... Uh, are, are they actually actors? These kids? Like, were, I think uh, they're like before? skateboarders first. Yeah, most of them are, are skateboarders. And their lines seem too perfect. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, like they're, they have to be. But then like, it, it feels so organic that it's like... Well, also if you think it about scripted. it, like if they're skateboarders, they have discipline, you know? Yeah. So they know how to practice something mm-hmm. and, yeah. you know, perfect they it. Really get so. it yeah. Well, he and uh, I think they did like when they would do round tables and stuff when they were learning their lines. Yeah. He had movie nights of films and stuff from that era, okay. and had them. He made playlists of uh, music from that era. So I feel like they were in that mindset as okay. well too. And when you're doing something like that, where it's basically about growing up, and you're actually in that, it's not really acting at that point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure a lot of that stuff Stevie was doing was coming pretty easy to him. Mm-hmm. You know, because it does feel haunt. It's, it feels so real. Yeah. It's like a documentary, you know, or a docu series. At that point, which is something Larry Clark is very, very good at doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This channels that perfectly. Oh yeah, for a debut. And- <sighs> that that's why, and it's funny because he throws Harmony Corinne in there. Yeah, cameo. Yeah, and that was actually because of strictly because he did kids. Yeah, which kids came out in the, around this year? Uh-huh. Around this year, the movie is based on the same time. So I was like, oh, that's that's pretty good. Okay, what would you rate this? Probably like a nine. A nine. Nine. Give it a nine as well. Yeah, a nine. Nine's all around. Nine's all around. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Um, a negative. No, Chris is not here. <laughs> oh. <Uh-oh. laughs> oh shit! I was gonna say a uh, nitpicking. Mm-hmm. 
a negative. There's no real aspect of... Uh, I feel like women are really just kind of peeking in on this. It's mm-hmm. very much... Um, it's much uh, like a male perspective on this. Yeah, which is, of course... Which, <laughs> which is... Yeah.